Hi community, happy new year. Hope you're all having a great year so far. In this video, which is technically the first video of the year, I want to show you how you can use the login sign up feature, which is released now in beta. I want to show you how you can use it and how you can leverage it in your applications. So remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel and let's get started. So first things first, here I have a marketing campaign that has a campaigns formula and also a results formula. If I click on the campaigns formula, which is my application, it shows the campaigns and also the results. And here I have the table of all campaigns, its charts, it's uh, creatives to show the designs and creatives we've created for a campaign. And here is the results, which was uh, the table of results in the form loop in a glance and uh, the table and the next steps, which is our chart. So this is my application and I want to make it a portal. So let's say, for example, I am an agency and I want to give access to my clients so they can sign up and uh, see have access to their own campaigns and see the pages that have uh, their own campaigns. So if you want to create access for their own campaigns, you should create a formula for each of your clients uh, or for each of your group of customers who should have access. For example, customer A has access to uh, one formula. Um, let me show you in the folder, maybe it's easier that way. So here I have the campaigns, which, is, which has the data of all campaigns. Let me show you in responses. Here I have the data of all campaigns. And um, let's say I have another client who needs uh, to have access to another campaign table. So I can create another uh, formula for that and uh, record all of the campaigns for that client in another table. So this way I can uh, say this campaign is for client A and create another uh, page for my client B so they can have access to that page. So right now uh, the access levels are on the pages which are here. Uh, this is a page, this is another page and you can control who has access to which of these pages. Let's get started and see how it works in action. So to enable the portal mode, I get to the app settings tab and here I can enable the portal mode and save changes. And here we see a users that come up to our app configurations and you can enable the portal mode here. So it enables all the features in the portal mode and you can create a new table for your users. The users table, uh, we are showing a demo here for you uh, to see how it works, is technically the table of your users. It's, it has a sign up form, as you see, all forms have a table assigned to them and you can see the table of the responses of that form. So a sign up form is uh, one of the normal forms and uh, you can create a new table of forms here and assign it to your application. So I create a new table. If you had other tables, you could use those, but I create a new one uh, from scratch and it creates my table here. So here are some configurations you can uh, change for your uh, users table. You can allow new users to sign up or disable it. You can enable CAPTCHA. I will show you in action how it works later. Also, you can uh, change the users table. And by clicking on this, you can uh, select other users table that you already have. Perfect. I created another users table, uh, enable the sign up and Let's create a new user here. So for example, I say Lisa at Simpson. So here you see that uh, there is roles uh, that you can assign role to the user. I uh, select the member and submit it. But you can also add more roles and I'll show you how the roles play when you are giving access. But let's create a new role for creating a new role or adding extra fields to your um, users table. You can just click on the edit form. And it takes you to the users formula. And here you can click on the roles and add your new role. Uh, for example, I create uh, the VIP member and save it. 
and save it. Perfect. So here uh, my user's role is changed and I get back to my application and get to the users and edit my uh, Lisa and give her the VIP member access as well. Awesome. So uh, this is one way of creating users uh, and other uh, options for creating users is enabling them to sign up at your uh, platform. So to, to enable them to sign up, I will enable the public view and save it and open it, uh, open the uh, public link of my application here. And here you see, let me here you see the login sign up buttons and for, by clicking on sign up the user can sign up so when you click on sign up it will get back to the application and as you see maggie has signed up here and as you can see her account and change the name and everything and uh, you can also create more fields for your profile page they will be shown here and your user can change them this is how you can create a sign up and uh, the user can also log in from the same page and uh, they can see the pages that they have access to let me show you the dashboard if you go to your dashboard i click on it and open it in a new page so here uh, you see that uh, formaloo has created a new table a new formaloo for your users with the name of your formaloo which was campaigns and uh, it has added a dash and uh, users so here you can see your users table as you remember i created two tables so this is the other one but uh, this is the one that i'm using so you can edit it and change its data it's just like other um other uh, formulas and you can customize it but some of the fields are mandatory and you cannot remove them because they are system fields and they should be there to work for your application or any other application that you create you can also enable captcha let me show you how it works if i go to the app and log out so you'll see that it logged out and you can sign up and in the sign up page you see that there is a capture that you can uh, enable on your sign up form perfect so here i sign up and it gets back to my application and as you see homer is signed up here and can see their account and he has access to all of these pages we because we haven't uh, restricted the access to these pages yet so to restrict access to some pages you can click on the page uh, but before that edit the application because you need to edit the pages access so you edit the application and click on the application page that you want to restrict and go to the settings tab and here you see that uh, there is a visibility uh, bar here so you can change it the default is public so public can see it without being uh, without needing to logging in but you can restrict it to non-logged in users so this way uh, only users that are not logged in will be able to see this page sometimes you might want to show some help docs or uh, some help contact or some forms or pages that you only want to be visible for non-logged in users and when they log in you don't uh, want them to see that anymore because uh, that's not relevant this is for logged in users so only people who are logged in can view it this is specific user access levels as you remember we created a new access level so we can say only the vip members can see it you can edit your users access in the users table as i showed you at the all team members uh, which shows that uh, this page is only accessible to your team members who are in your workspace team members and uh, the specific team members uh, is only for specific team access levels. Uh, the owner is the owner of uh, the application and the form loop. The admin is admin access level, uh, which hasn't been enabled yet, but uh, we will enable it in the workspace settings, workspace team members page and team member and guests. Guests are people who have access to uh, some of the formulas, but not necessarily are in your team or in your workspace team. These are the visibility options you have. Let's say, for example, I wanted to be visible to specific user, the user access levels 
and uh, only for VIP members. And I save it and go to the application in which Homer is logged in. He's not seeing the results uh, page anymore because he does. He's not uh, a VIP member. But if I sign in with Lisa, she will see it because she is a VIP member, and I can go to the users table. So let me show you how the login works. Yeah, if you click on the login, I've signed up with my email. Here I enter my password and sign in so uh, this is also the sign in you can also go to other applications for example here i have another application it's for content calendar i open the page so you can see the application it has a content pipeline overview and insights and you can see the results here it has uh, two formulas, two tables, so I have uh, divided them into two menus. And now I want to enable uh, the portal mode on this application as well. Let's see. Uh, let's, so let's take the same processes. We save it here. It adds the users table and enable the portal mode. And as you see here, I have my tables and I can choose uh, my previous table. So uh, you can have the same table on all of your applications or you can separate them based on your need. Uh, here I will choose the same table. You can also create a new table. As I said, yep, I choose the same one. It brings up all of my users. If I uh, enable the public mode and save it, then open the public view of my application you see here that it has the login sign up and uh, my users can log in let's say i log in with my email and here we have signed in and i have access to all of the pages you can restrict access and uh, do the same process here and let me know if you have any questions this feature is still in beta there are many opportunities for it we are open open to your suggestions in our public the growth map i hope you enjoyed this video remember to like the video and put your comments down below tell me what you think about this feature and how you want it to grow hope you enjoyed this video and bye happy formaloing